during grad school, I was taking a lot of pictures. Um, I'm very passionate about my photography, a lot of rock climbing pictures. And so that made me interested in the question of, uh, you know, do cameras have to focus before we take the picture? That was happening on the one side, on the artistic side, if you will. And then on the scientific side, I was working uh, in my PhD on the theory of the light field. This was in computer graphics, sort of the scientific study of the nature of light. And I had uh, some technical background and perspective that if we collected the right information, the light field inside a camera, that you wouldn't have misfocused pictures after. You would be able to change the focus after you took the shot. And so those two things came together for me in a moment where I said, you know, that was the light bulb going off. Uh, I'm Ren Ung, and I'm the founder of Lightro and I worked uh, during my PhD on light field cameras and light field photography. A conventional camera has a lens, it has a sensor, and rays of light come in from the world, refracting through the lens, and those rays of light going in all different directions, they all burn into the sensor, and they burn in to make a 2D picture. A light field camera is preserving the missing data uh, that becomes lost in the conventional camera when it, the rays burn into the sensor. The missing information is about how much light was traveling in each direction. The vector information for every ray passing inside the camera body. And it turns out for fundamental reasons that the light field is four-dimensional uh, rather than just a 2D photograph. And we preserve this vector information in a light field camera with a new kind of sensor. At every point on its sensor surface, it has a micro-optical layer. It's literally a piece of glass with very small lenses printed on it. And the purpose of this is as the rays are moving inside the camera body, the light field sensor preserves how much light was going in every direction at every point that strikes the sensor surface. Everything with a lens in front of a sensor can do its work in new ways with new features or new performance boundaries. Uh, by using light field technology. So we're approaching it from a consumer standpoint, so how can we use light field capture to enable us to tell better interactive stories to one another through our pictures, and that's terrific. This is the picture that taught me about what was really gonna be important. This is my friend Alex, one of my rock climbing buddies, and the picture's initially focused on his fingertips, as you can see, and when I showed it to him and to my other friends, the interactivity of moving from that focus now to his face and you discover his expression, you know, it really uh, tells a story that makes people that know him when they see this, it'll make them exclaim, they'll laugh, they'll smile uh, because of that sensation of discovery when they can finally see his expression. Here it is, that's the light field that flows through, refracts through the lens and burns into the sensor to make a photograph. Rays come in, refract through, burn into the sensor to make a 2D picture. Um, but if you can preserve the light field itself, then we can do things like focus closer in the world by imagining the sensor further away, and you can see the structure of the rays that would arrive there. As compared to if we focus further in the world, we imagine the sensor closer to the uh, lens, this is what would happen in real life in a conventional camera, and you can see, you can visualize the pattern of rays that would arrive on those in the software when we do this simulation is totally different. Imagine cameras that have focused at different depths or have different lens properties or lens settings while we're doing that virtual um, image formation. So this is the Lytro camera and one of the most distinctive things about it is the shape. Um, and it's very much form follows function because the shape of it is driven by the zoom lens, this eight times optical zoom. And if we cut away the camera, you can really see this entire front section is the lens. And inside here in the middle is the light field sensor and in the back is the computational system processor that transforms the light field pictures into final photographs that we can show on the touch screen on the back of the camera. You can also think about applications in science. The microscopy, for example, when the world gets very small, uh, and, and you consider things microscopically, things become semi-transparent, like microscope slides. And if you consider capturing the light field flowing through a slide, it's kind of like a CT scan. Every shot from a light field microscope gives you the amount of light traveling in every ray through the specimen, and you can use that to compute the three-dimensional volume information, very similarly to the way you do in a CT scanner, and you can do 3D renderings of a specimen from a single light field shot. For video, it means that uh, we can transform video because we can focus after the fact. 
And that's amazing because in the movies today, we see great focus because there's a script and there's someone that controls the focus. But life, for the rest of us that are shooting without a script, uh, we don't have that benefit because life is unscripted. And so having Life Your Video opens the door to cinematic quality, uh, but for um, everyday um, consumer video. This speaks to the future of photography. We'll look at this next five to 10 year period as one of the richest for uh, expansion in uh, the kinds of visual storytelling uh, that we can do for ourselves as human beings.